They're Argentina's most popular team and a Buenos Aires institution, a club that's won so many titles they're running out of space on their badge for the stars. As the saying goes, more than half of Argentina supports them. La Mited Masuno. They are the stuff of dreams. Boca Juniors. It's a huge honor for me to know that the club has trusted me and signed me. As a kid, I always dreamt of playing for the biggest clubs in the world, and this is one of them. So the truth is, I'm very happy. It's an honor for me to be part of an institution like Boca. Everybody says that first you have the president of the nation, and then you have the coaches of Boca and River. It's a responsibility, a big responsibility, but it's something I've taken on and that teaches me something new every day. Boca may be the most successful club in Argentina, but recent years have not been so happy. Rodolfo Arrua Barena was handed the task of delivering success back to the Bombonera, and last November his team came through when they landed the Primera División and Copa Argentina. It had been a long time since the club had won a title. It had been four years, and that's a lot for Boca. The truth is that the boys had a great season and a very good year. I think Boca really needed to start winning titles again. And luckily, we managed to win two last year. Boca has always produced iconic players. Maradona was the greatest, succeeded by stars like Martin Palermo and Juan Riquelme. And last season, a local hero came back to Boca to help them claim the double. Carlos Tevez. He's very committed to the club and its philosophy. He's a great teammate, but above all, he belongs to this club. And there are a lot of kids here that look up to him, which is a great advantage for us here today. Tevez provided inspiration and nine goals last season. For many, he was the impetus for Boca's 31st Primera División title. We all know what he represents on the pitch. And to be honest, he's a great person as well. He's been fantastic since the day he arrived, always bringing a lot to the group, which I think is very important for a big player. The career of Fernando Gago has followed a similar route. Boca Juniors, Real Madrid, Valencia, and now he's back at the Bombonera. I think he's like Carlito. They're both out of this world. He has amazing technique, and as a person, he is always a very positive leader and takes us forward. He helps the kids a lot, and I'm happy because I've met some great people here at Boca, and that is so important to me. Head coach Arua Barena has overseen Boca's return to success. He spent eight years here as a first-team player, and is Boca through and through. You have to remember that I came through the youth system here. I came to the club when I was 11 years old, and I've had the chance to play for the first team, to win titles, and to achieve important things for the club. He's a great guy. He works well with his assistants, works a lot with the ball. He's very tactical. He has a wonderful technical team, and they always want us to progress. I think all of this helps a lot, and I think it played a huge part in what we managed to achieve last year. After that successful 2015, they found the start to the new year more difficult. But trophies are everything at Boca Juniors, a club that will always demand the very highest standards. The main thing is to defend what has been so hard for the club to achieve, which are the national titles, both in the Copa Argentina and the Primera División. Then we have the chance to play in the Copa Libertadores once again, which is a very difficult tournament with some great teams in it. We have a very clear goal. The standard was good last year, but we want to go beyond that. There are good things, but there are also things we have to work on. We have to continue along the same path. We all know what Boca means to Argentina, to South America, and to the whole world. We have to fight in every tournament that we enter. So we have to prepare for that. And we know that this will be a tough season.